Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to use some of the basic features of Audacity, which you might want to use to do some recording for your projects at home. Audacity can be downloaded free from the internet, and it's safe for both PCs and Mac. To open Audacity, you can find it in the Spotlight. Just click on the spot Spotlight, type the word Audacity in, or part of the word, and notice it comes up. Click on it to open the program. There's lots of help online as well as manuals that come with Audacity if you want to find out how to use the more advanced features of the program. For now, we're just going to do the basics. In order to record on Audacity, you just create a new track. Um, you can do that by going to Tracks and Add New, Audio or Stereo. We're going to use Audio Tracks for now. I don't even need to actually do that yet. I can just click on the Record button and notice I get a brand new track and it's recording my voice right now. To stop recording, all I need to do is press the stop button up here at the top in the controls. You may notice I added a new track. I did that by clicking the record button once again. If I add record again, button, and I get yet another track. track. It's recording my voice right now. To stop recording. The problem, the problem with that is that when I'm recording, I'm also getting the audio from the other tracks. The way to fix that is by using the mute button on the other tracks and then recording my new track. Now I can go back to the beginning of the track, skipping to start or skipping to end using these two controls up at the top. Other things I can do um, with Audacity is use the shortcut buttons here for editing. So say there was a portion of the third track that I wanted to remove. I can highlight it and if I use the scissors option, I can cut that section and it moves everything right over. If I don't like what I've done, I can use undo cut. I can also copy a section using the copy option and then paste it using the paste option. Command C and Command V will work in the same way. Say I want to silence a section of it. I don't want to remove it, I just want to silence it. I highlight it and I use the silence option, it's a button and it silences the section. I might want to silence everything except a selection. I select the selection I want to keep and I use the trim button. It silenced everything on that track that was not included in the area that I had chosen. Other options um, that you need to be aware of are your microphone, or sorry, your speaker out, uh, output, volume, your microphone input or volume as well. Okay, those are important. You need to adjust that if you find that your voice is too quiet or too loud. You can import music to Audacity as well by going to File. I need to go to new to my track here. File and Import Audio. Choose your audio on your computer. And import it. Notice it comes in as a stereo track. That's because it's been produced in that way. You've got um, left and right here. To play your, your audio, you click the green button here at the top. Now, notice that these two tracks were not playing. And that's because they are on mute. To unmute them in order to hear the audio that we record on those tracks. Go right back to the very beginning and play. Now I'm going to mute this track and then we'll continue in a moment. We've got our recordings, we've imported our music and we've unmuted these two tracks and listened to what we have so far. This third track has really nothing on it that I want to keep and I'm going to remove it or delete it using the X button. My music track is there and it's fine. Um, I'm just going to bring it down just a tiny bit in terms of volume. There we go. Now I can't hear it because it's muted, so I must unmute it first. With my own voice, I've got two sets of recordings here, and they're in the way. And I'm going to actually cut from one track and place it on the next track. Now I could have done this as well using the shortcut toolbar here at the top. Um, I just used the keyboard shortcuts instead, the Command X, Command C, and Command V, Command X for cut, Command C for copy, Command V for paste. 
and now I've got my audio pretty much where I want it to be. I can zoom that in a bit if I want to, just to have a better look at where, where my audio is at here. Let's give it a play. We'll go right back to the very beginning again. And notice I get a rapid track, and it's recording my voice right now. All right, not so bad. This track's no longer important to me, and I'm going to remove it. There we go. Okay, now there's certain effects I can apply to my, my different tracks. I can highlight a section of the track and go to the effects up at the top. Your menu might be slightly different, it's a little bit more condensed with arrows which um, open up a new window on the side here on the right, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to change the speed of that portion that I've highlighted. Um, you can change it with percents or in other formats as well, but I'm just going to use the percent. Um, this, is, this is the formatting they used to use for vinyl records which you probably haven't seen. <laughs> you were born way after those. Um, but 45 would definitely speed it up as well. So let's see what we've got. We'll go back to the beginning again and play. And notice I get a rapid track and it's recording my voice right now. Notice the change in my voice. We increased it so it became chipmunk voice. You can slow down your audio as well um, using the effects for speed. Um, you can also use pitch and um, this time I'm going to slow it way down. That's what we get. Now I'm going to start right there. I don't want to listen to the initial part there. I just want to start there and see what we can find. Notice that I brought the voice down. I can reverse um, my audio as well. I can fade it in, fade it out, add an echo to it and, and decide how long I want that echo to last. You can add phasers to it, repeats, Etc. There's quite a bit to investigate here. We'll try the reverse here. Now let's see what we've got. Okay. Those are the basics for editing, and you're welcome to have a, a play with the effects, as many different things you want to try it as you can. Um, there's some pretty neat stuff in here. Now, to save your file, you have to go to um, File in Audacity and you can you save your projects like GarageBand. You save your project, decide where you want to save it. Let me say OK, and choose your location. Right now, what I want to show you is exporting because this is important too. Now you can export a selection or the whole file. Click export. You can add in the information for artist. Maybe it's your name, the title of the track, album. If you want to, you don't have to, and then hit OK. Once you've done that, again determine where you're going to save this. In your case, you're saving it locally on the computer. Um, desktop or in your documents, that's, that's really your decision. And um, once you've put a title in for it, test, then save. Now it's mixing down the two stereo channels and the exported files, and that's okay for my purposes. I don't need the, the stereo channels. And I hit OK, and I now should have my MP3 file. If you're not happy with it and you want to cancel it, use the cancel button. And that's basically it for, the, for what we were going to use Audacity for, just basic um, applications of Audacity for recording more than anything, um, narration and uh, adding background music sound effects.